Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Silt. Now, this is an underwater themed horror game in the style of games such as Limbo and Inside. I really love these kinds of atmospheric puzzle themed horror games, and one set under the water kind of plays into my greatest fears being down in the dark depths of the ocean with giant sea creatures all around us. That's something I'm actually really afraid of. I don't even like going out too far into the sea because I always worry about what will be beneath me, you know, in the water that I can't see. So this is going to be a really cool game to cover on the channel. Now we played a demo of this a few months ago, the developers very kindly give me an early access copy. So sit back, relax and let's dive, quite literally, into the world of Silt. What is that? Some kind of giant machine by the look of it. We've got cogs, we've got gears. It's almost like a schematic isn't it? Wait is this the actual game graphics? I think it might be. Yeah, it's like, um, it's like a giant mechanism. There's the title, Silt. I wonder if this is like... The thing we're trying to get to, maybe? I don't know, maybe we're trapped inside this thing. Because I'm unsure about this game, I'm unsure about like what the story actually is. I just know it takes place underwater. In the endless depths, Goliaths roam beneath the waves and crashing foam. Little rhyme. Hunt them down, remove their eyes. For this is where their power lies. Catchy, I like it. A great machine lies deep in wait. Awaken it to seal your fate. Yes, yeah, so we have to get to the machine and awaken it to seal our fate apparently. And in this game we can kind of mind hack the different sea creatures. I don't know if you guys watched my demo playthrough, but we, we basically managed to like hack the minds of these different sea creatures and control them. It's quite unique, this concept. So here's our character, as you can see, a diver. We're chained up. We're just waking up by the look of it. We've been taken prisoner in the depths of the ocean. Start possession by holding B. Okay, let's do it. Oh! Now we've hacked the mind of this creature. We can control it. Can we bite through the chain? Yay! We did it! Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get away from that fish before it bites us. What the heck is this? Just go up, I guess. Yep, we head up. How creepy would it be being trapped this far under the depths of the ocean? Everything just looks really, really ominous. Oh wait, we can't get past that. We need to hack something again. Oh, look, I've hacked this little cute fish. Okay, let's swim up. Ooh. Wait, I've just hacked the mind of this fish. So we can transfer the consciousness from creature to creature. And now we can bite through these. Look at this. One, two, three. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna detach from you and back into our own body and now we can swim away. We don't want that thing to bite us though. So once again, <laughs> let's quickly make a getaway. This is really awesome, this concept. Just the way we can possess different creatures and then uh, use them to solve puzzles. I like it. Move faster by holding the A button. Okay, we might need that. Oh, we got a shark. Can I possess this? Yes, I can. What do we do? Smash this? Yay, we did it. Now we just want to get like uh, this as far away as possible. Can I kill this creature? Hey, we did it. Nice. Okay, so we've now made a path in front of us. The only thing is, I wonder if those creatures are going to try and kill us. Because they might well do that, right? I'm just going to swim down. Oh! I'm going to hide, I'm going to hide. Okay, let's possess him. Nice. We need to we need to possess a different creature to get through these, right? Something that will bite through them. So let's go and find 
one of those little bitey things. Here's one. Oh, he's gonna get. No, he got us. Okay, that didn't work. We need to get away from him quicker once we've possessed a different creature. And now swim over here and snip, snip, snip. There we go. Done. Hopefully he doesn't bite us as we swim past now. I like how everything looks like it's hand-drawn. There's just loads of attention to detail. That's really cool. Oh man, this doesn't look good. We got a giant rib cage or something here. Or is it a heart? Oh no, we've got those sharks as well. Okay. Right, let's possess one. Can we kill the other one? Don't know. I want to see if I can kill it. Don't think we can. Headbutt, I got an achievement. Oh, we made a path. There we go. So now we just need to move this guy all the way to the top of the screen. And now we want to quickly... Oh, actually possess this guy maybe. Move him to the top of the screen. Just make a path so we can basically get through without being attacked. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Nice, I think we've done it. The scale is crazy. You can see just how big this place is. It seems like we're inside a creature though, right? Because that's like organs and bones and stuff. We just saw... Yeah, look, we're inside the creature. This is the mouth. The mouth of a creature. All right, let's swim. Let's swim. Hopefully it doesn't bite us. Man, we were tiny. What is this, some kind of giant shark? We're out into the open ocean now. I wonder how we ended up chained up in a, a giant shark. Perhaps something we would rather not find out. What is this? Oh no, this is one of those things, isn't it? That's attached to, um, I can't remember the name of the fish. They have these things, these feelers that are lit up. And they live right down in the depths of the ocean and they attract their prey. They like lure their prey towards the light. So I bet there's a big fish on the end of this. Ready to eat us up. We've got our lamp on though. Oh! No, we've got leeches or something. I don't know what they are. What, what are those things? They're not like eels, are they? They're more like, um, ah! What the heck? Games like this are all, it's always really, really easy to die in them. You have to be like super, super on your toes and super fast. Look, he's swimming backwards now. That'd be horrible. There you go. Turn yourself around. We've almost made it. Oh, they swam away. They were like, screw that. There's obviously going to be something pretty nasty in this cave. Here it is. Where's it leading us? Oh! Go, 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 go! Oh no, we got eaten. Okay, we got eaten. <laughs> that was actually insane. Just a giant eel, like, emerging. I vaguely remember this from a demo. This is actually where the demo ended. In this room. I think we have to solve a puzzle. Yeah, we can't get near him right now. We need something to break through here. Okay, I'm gonna swim up. I'm gonna swim up, guys. Let's see if we can get him to knock this or something. Go on. He's coming for us. Yes, it worked. Cave in. There we go. Now, is there any sea creatures in here that we can use? Looks like there is. Nice. Okay. Let's swim down here then. And take a bite out of this. Is there anything up here that we can use? Oh, we made a rock fall down. What's that doing? Oh, that might actually break the uh, path below. Yeah, look. That's going to break this, I think. Or maybe it isn't. Oh, he's going to bite it. Nice. Oh, I kind of feel sorry for him. That would have hurt his teeth, I think. Now we need to transfer our consciousness to this big guy. 
Oh, we've got another diver down here as well. Huh. That's interesting. What do I do with this guy? Is there anything in here? Oh, yeah, look, we can headbutt this. This rock and make it fall. Ah, yeah, and then we can get the big creature to knock that now. Yeah, look, he's going to knock it. Boom. Is that him dead? Did we get him? I think we did. That's called Gulper Eel. Nice. So that's one eel down. I'm going to hack him in a minute, guys, but first I want to go and get this guy. I want to see what we do with this. Look, is this like an upgrade or something? It's interesting. What is that? It's like another version of ourselves, like a ghost or something. Anyway, let's take the soul of this guy next or possess him. Wow, that's actually really cool. So what's this doing? Is that just like a level complete? This is very trippy. We've opened a void it seems. A triangular void. And that sea creature, if you look at it, actually seems mechanical. Like the eye was a mechanical eye and we actually drained what seems to be like electricity from it. Maybe the whole of this world is mechanical. Where are we now? This is really weird. Should I go down or up? The fish are all swimming this way. Which suggests that maybe I should go this way. Man, this is super creepy. This is like my greatest fear. Giant open voids of water. What are those things? Just like masses of flesh and cogs and stuff? They've got the sound so like accurate as well to like how it would be underwater. Or how it is when you're underwater. Wow, this is the thing. This is the thing we were trying to find. Okay. It's opening up. I would not be trying to swim inside that thing. I think I'd be going the opposite way, if anything. Because we know nothing good can be inside this, right? But we reached our destination a lot quicker than I expected. Oh, this is weird. Look, we got like fox people or something. Very strange. So it's like a, um, yeah, it's like a fox with antlers. And look, they've got loads of diver helmets. I wonder if we're like a fox person inside this suit. That's like really cool though. Keep going. Oh, look at that. It's like little um, statues of ourselves with like the light coming out of our helmets. Got another one. We're lighting all these things up. Do I have to, wait, uh, do I have to connect to these? Do I have to connect to these light orbs? No, we can't connect to the light orbs. Hmm. Very strange. I wonder what that room was all about. We're going up. Man, look at all these bodies. They've all become part of these giant statues. They've been like melded together to make the statues. Look at this. Can we actually like uh, get inside that little silhouette? Hold B to transfer your soul. Here we go, we are. We're actually like matching up with this, look. That's kind of cool. This game is really strange, but I'm, I'm digging it. I reckon we're going to unleash something bad though, right? I don't know that any good can come of this.
So the machine is on. The story to this game is really mystifying already. Because there's so many questions like, who am I playing as? Why are the statues of like fox people in there? This ancient civilization of like fox people. What did we just do with that device? It's like we transferred the soul of a giant eel we got into the device. Why was the two of us, you know? Like a ghost version of us that we melded with. And where are we now? Like, what was this place? This is obviously the second stage. It seems we're like, I don't know, deep in a underwater forest or something. I guess we just keep going forward. It's really incredible looking though. I must say, the game. Oh, those things spray. Looks like ink. I'll just keep going up for now. Might as well. Okay. We're dead. So yeah, we have to be careful. I don't know if that ink stuff actually hurts us as well. But we'll give this another go. We can't actually merge with this one. But we need him to be able to like bite through that stuff. Can I merge with any of- oh! Ah, let's get one of these fishes. We're gonna lure the plant creature, the snappy plant, up to here with the fish and get him to bite through the rope. Or the cord, whatever it is. There we go. Oh, it's living tissue, wow. Did he just kill himself by uh, biting that? I don't know. Seems like it. That was obviously part of his body. It's not the smartest plant in the world, just the hungriest. Oh, we've got something here, that's a weird looking fish. It looks like a barracuda a little bit. Wow, are you going to attack me? Is everything in this sea deadly or not? I'm just going to avoid them guys. Ah, we made it, we made it, we made it. Okay. That was close. That was very, very close. Let's keep going up. Let's keep heading up. We're doing okay here. We almost got bitten like three or four times by those plants. But we made it through the underwater forest to what seems to be a giant tree. Yeah, this is uh, getting weirder all the time. What are those little things? Are they little people or something with hats on? Look at those little things in the tree. So weird. Okay, that is very strange. Can I possess you? I don't think I can possess that thing. Maybe if I possess this creature. Oh, oh can I not? No, I can't possess that creature. That's strange. Oh wow, okay, he, he actually grabs our head if we go up to him. Oh, we can still control our... We can still control the character. So, maybe we get these things to eat the grubs. There we go. That worked. So we satiated the appetite of that guy. Do we have to do the other four? Seems like we have to feed each of them. So, are there any more grubs? This game is so like Limbo. It's so like Limbo, if you guys have ever played or seen that game. It's like an underwater version of that, basically. I want to see if we can get any more grubs for this tree, though. So I'm going to go this way. Man, we're going back into the forest. See, it's not as linear as I thought. I don't know if we're going to find, like, another one of the grubs this way, maybe? Oh! Oh! Okay, they're trying to eat us, guys. Wow, so those little leech things in the dark here, they actually eat us, slowly but surely. They don't want to hit kill us, but they do kind of start sucking our blood. So what I'm going to have to do is maybe, like, burn them with a the light. It seems like they didn't like the light. So we'll give that another shot. I don't think they care about the light. Ah, we have to roll. If they attach to us, we have to roll, guys. In the water. Like that. 
There we go. So we just got those guys off us. Now we need to check down here. There's the grub. That's what we want. Nice. Okay. We've got another grub. Okay, let's go. That little fish is following us as well. I don't know why. The little glowing fish. Another grub for the tree. You can have this one. There you go. Feast on it, weird child of the tree. So that's another little creature fed and happy. We've got two more to do. So I'll go up and do, I think there's probably like four exits to this room and each one contains a grub. So I'm gonna go up and do this one next. Oh, we need a way to get through this though. Can we go up here? Yes, we can. So hopefully we find the other two grubs up this way. No way through that. Unless we can get this guy to just straight up attack it. No. Nope. Okay, so let's possess the barracuda. And we're going to use the barracuda as bait once again. So we go up to the top. Oh man, we're going to have to swim through these guys. Whoa, okay. This is actually tricky. This is actually very tricky. I've just poisoned the fish, guys. Maybe if I swim the fish all the way down to the end now, we can poison the plant at the bottom. Yes, and it dies. We basically poison the plant. That took me absolutely ages, because I was sat here for about 20 minutes trying to figure this puzzle out. So if a fish gets poisoned, then we feed it to the plant. The plant dies, we can get through. And now, we can get this little guy to attach itself to us. And then we've got another grub to feed to the tree things. The, tr the children of the tree, or whatever they're called. I don't know what they are. Here we go, tree. You hungry for more? There you go. Another little grub. We just got one more. One more hungry little child to give some food to. Where is the next grub going to be located? Ah, wait, have we gone this way yet? I'm not sure we've been this way yet, so let's go here. We haven't been this way. I wonder if, like, this is meant to be a flooded world, because this is actually like a forest, isn't it? And what is that? I just realised I was talking and I didn't even really clock what was a giant statue of another fox kind of blowing this giant horn. Kind of troubling. I won't dwell on it. We'll go up and we'll see if we can get this final grub. Maybe this way? Oh, there's spikes everywhere. Okay, we're gonna have to be very careful. What is that sound, man? I do not like that sound. I do not like it at all. We're gonna have to navigate very, very carefully around these things. Oh, there's another one of those. There's the grub we need, and there's another one of those ghost things. Well, ghost versions of ourselves, I should say. Let's free him. That's another one. Another one done. Question is, how do we get to that grub? Seems like it's trapped. Man, that sound is creeping me out a little bit. I don't know what it is. It's like a scratching sound almost, isn't it? Almost like the static of a TV or rain on a window. Kind of like a a combination of the two, maybe. Can we go this way? That's a way out. Oh. Ah, yeah, this is the way back into the main area. So our path's just been cleared. Right, let's get the grub. Let's figure out a way to do this. 
first of all, we'll hack into one of these little fishes. Oh, no, that does not work. I think what we probably have to do is feed these fish to the plants, and then in return, that thing will open up. So let's try and lead them all the way down and around the maze. How many do we need is the question. Like, how many fish do we need to retain? Oh, there's one of those plants. There's one of those poison plants. Let's try and poison it. I think that's the puzzle. Here we go. Poison the fish. They seem pretty poisoned now. And now quickly swim them over to the plant. Plant will eat them and we have to get inside. There you go. Nice, we did it. Okay, that took me a little while to figure out as well, that puzzle. But we got there in the end, and now... We can get our face sucked again. <laughs> Which is a very strange sentence. And we can swim all the way back, feed the last child of a tree, and hopefully escape the level. Dinner time. Come and get it. Is it down here? Yes it is. There we go. He's eaten that. Now the tree can hopefully, uh, I don't know if it dies or if it lives. Something happens to it. Oh man. It doesn't look happy. I think it's, it's arisen. It's like a giant octopus. An octo tree. And it's moving up, which is concerning. Should I be swimming? Oh no. Okay, can I hack this thing? We're gonna have to swim down, I think, guys, and try and hack. Oh no. Okay, we got eaten. No, I think we have to poison it. We have to get a fish and poison it because those plant spore things were at the bottom of the um, ravine there. So we hack for fish. And as soon as he stops sucking up the air, we go in, get the fish poisoned. There you go, they're nice and poisoned now. And then we lead them right up, and it's dinner time for this big old boy. Hopefully the fish don't die. There we go. That'll poison him. I don't know if I actually gave him enough poison though. More fish poisoned. Now we swim them up. I don't know if this is working. It seems like he's getting affected by it in some way. There's another school of fish over here, so let's see if we can grab those. Now swim them down. Suck up the poison. And now let this big guy eat them. This should be enough now. There's no more fish left, so hopefully this does him in, you know? Yeah, I think it worked. I don't know why we're celebrating that we've killed something so much, but, you know, it's the way of the game. This is called Kraken Tree. So that's the second boss done. We've done two bosses in one video, and we've taken the energy from him. So now I guess we go back to that main machine and we deposit it in the machine, maybe? Looks like we're going back, doesn't it? Back into this weird in-between land. You can see in the background, like, everything is shattered. Like, glass almost. Ah, we found it, finally. This took me ages to find. So there we go, we found this structure once again. It's really tough to, like, locate in this giant area. Back inside we go then, to the structure once more, and this time we're going to deposit the energy of the Kraken Tree. The lights are back on. I wonder if it sort of tells us how many lights we need to light. Because there's three down there, isn't there? And three back up that way, and what else is... If we go down here, is there like anything we haven't found yet? Yeah, we haven't been this way. 
There's like loads of different ways we can go in here. Like if we go down here, there's like cages. Just don't understand it. Maybe there's some secrets we can find. Yeah, look, we can swim deeper into the ship. So it seems like we can actually explore this hub environment in between the stages. Or maybe not, so no, it just leads back to the same thing, a chamber, look. This one is in the shape of a tree, the other one was in the shape of an eel. So... Yeah, it's very strange. It's like each time we're taking the energy from one creature and putting it back into this giant machine. And then we're going to a new location. I'm not entirely sure <laughs> what is going on, but obviously we're powering up this machine and something's going to happen when we complete it. But I have no idea how many stages there are going to be and how many bosses there are going to be. It's usually like five or six in these types of games, isn't it? Oh yeah, look, you can actually see there, there's a spider shaped one or a crab or something. So we've got one, two, three, four, yeah, there'll be five I think, guys. There'll be five in total, I believe. Ooh, we're in a city now, an underwater city. Look at all those factories behind us. This is cool. So is this like some kind of ancient civilization? But we've got already got a secret area down here. Well, I don't know if it's a secret, but it's somewhere we can swim and it feels like, I don't know, it felt quite tucked away, um, but maybe it's not a secret. Maybe it's just the way we're meant to go. Got little stingrays. Are these dangerous or do they come in peace? I wonder if we can like possess these things. Let's have a look. We can indeed. So these can dart about like this, look. So maybe we can swim through this now. Yes, we can, awesome. And now we just need to find a way to turn that mechanism on so that we can get through. We've got electric eels, can we switch to the electric eel? Yep, okay, we're controlling an electric eel now, guys. So what we wanna do is try and power up this gate with the eel, I'm guessing, right? Can we power this up? It's sparking. Yeah, look. Nice, we've turned on the machine. So every level that we play in this game, it has some kind of new mechanic, which is really interesting. This mechanic for this level is all about electricity by the look of it, powering up machines in this ancient city. We've got a switch there and it's glowing. So let's see if we can use our ability on the switch. Yeah, look, we can. There we go. We hook into it, and we can actually manipulate it with our mind. Now we can swim through. So that's one puzzle down. Probably a ton more to go. And we just got to avoid these eels. Because I bet these eels attack us if we get too close, right? Just avoid these uh, electric little things. Okay. Power this on. And there we go. Second switch is pulled. Onward and downward, maybe? <laughs> it seems like we're going down, not up. That's two puzzles down now. I've got another eel there. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Let's kind of hack into the eel to start with. Yeah, there we go. We've connected it up. Okay. We've got to swim back to this, hack in. There's a little trick to doing that as well. When you hack into the switches, they don't immediately pull back. You have to kind of tap the stick a little bit. It doesn't automatically activate. That kind of threw me when I first did it. All right, deeper into the depths, into this eel. Oh, I think we got shocked. A nasty little shock there. Right, that's another one done. 
Oh no. It's like a production line with all these traps in it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Swim. That was close. Oh, we got crabs. We got some crabs down here. Now, question is, what do the crabs do? They jump by the look of it. Go. Nice. Yes, okay. Oh no. Poor crab. Oh, he's alright. He's alright. He's alright. So that's another puzzle done. Now we can swim through safely. Flip that switch. And we're home free. Hopefully. We're going deeper and deeper into the factory. I wonder what the enemy is going to be for this one. Like what the boss will be. I think it might be the crab. We saw the crab on the next sort of light on that um, weird base that we keep going back to. Sorry for the bad descriptions, guys. <laughs> Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Ah, okay. So, we need a crab to go through those little stabby stabby things. Let's go up. There's our crab. Okay, we've got a crab. So let's take him down. All the way down. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, he's fine. Jump. There we go. Now we're going to have to time this right. Just right. No! Oh, okay. That broke the machine. I didn't realise that we were meant to break the whole machine. I think we need to go back though, don't we? Let's power up the switch either way. There we go. That seems like we've powered something up there. The elevator. Ooh, nice. And up we go. Wait, can I just safely swim up to the elevator now? I'm guessing I can. And I'm also guessing I probably have to put some of these crabs into the elevator, right? Yep. No. There we go. I think it's worked. That took me absolutely ages to uh, to get right there, guys, because it wasn't kind of interacting with the switch for whatever reason. But I think we've done this right because I think we wanted to take down the crab to the bottom level. And now we need to get this little stingray thing, swim him over here so we can zip through like this. And now, can we zip through here with a stingray? Yep. Zip through again. Nice. I don't like that sound. That's very creepy. Oh, we've got a fan. Okay, let's swim up. Ah, oh, yeah, look. Here's the switch. So what's this going to do? Is this going to lift up the barricade downstairs? Hopefully. Oh no, look. We can get around it completely. So now, we hack this. Take the elevator all the way back up. Barricade's down, we just go straight through. It's pretty awesome. swim out and over the top make sure we don't touch those spikes and here we go through to the next section oh but we can't go through to the next section because we've got the fans in the way there and I doubt we can swim through those do we have to drop a crab into those let's have a look let's go back and see if we can get a crab to come up I think what we have to do guys is hack this Send it all the way down, then put another crab on the top, and then hack it to go back up. So... Yeah, now we want to get another crab. Get him to go on the top of the elevator, like this. There we go, little fella. Right, maybe we have to swim back down now. So we've put the crab on the top, 
so we can get him up to the uh, the ceiling in a minute. But now we're gonna have to swim this way in a second, like so. Now we can send the crab up to the top. There we go. Hopefully he'll drop down to the right section in a minute. Yes, he's still up there. Thank you, Mr. Crab. Thank you for not forsaking me. Here we go. It's working. The puzzle, guys, we've solved it. I'm so happy. Okay. Sorry to do this to you. You should be all right, though, judging by past experiences. Oof. There we go. That's two. Yeah, nice one. It worked. The puzzles in this game are logical, they just sometimes take a while to work out. The problem playing this in early access is there's no guides online, so if I get stuck I just literally have to figure it out myself. <laughs> there's nothing, I can't look to anything for help. I just have to sit here for ages until I figure out what to do. So let's go. We're on to the next section. Deeper into the facility. Oh no, we've got these weird things again, the leeches. Man, I hate those things. I'm just going to have to swim past them like super fast. Get away from me. Get away from me, leeches. Go, go, go. Ah, no, get off me. Okay, we're through, we're safe. Flip the switch. So that's going to... Oh, nice. It's going to open the top bit. Is that gonna like slice up all the leeches? Yeah, look, they're all getting sucked into the fan and chopped up. Now we can hack this as well. Into the elevator we go. Hopefully, I've done this correctly because I don't actually know where we're aiming to go yet. Gotta be careful that, that fan doesn't suck us down. Ah, okay, look. There's a little baby crab down there. So what's this? It's like a grabber. It seems like it. Ah, oh, we've got to grab the crab and drop him into the fan to break it. That makes sense. Come on, crab. Yes, we got you. We got you. <laughs> Just push ourselves back a little bit as well. Okay. Drop him off. Oh, the little babies are like, Mommy, no! I don't know if he'll survive that one, or she. He or she, whatever it is. The parental crab just got dropped into the fan. Um. Oh, and here we go, our third secret. We've actually got each, like, scuba diver ghost from each stage we've played so far. So we're free for free at the moment, which is really cool. And now we can go down into the depths, and I think because we found the ghost, it means it's probably the boss time. The boss probably lives down here in the fan, I think. It certainly looks like an ominous boss-themed environment, right? Man, this is creepy. We need our light on. What is this place? Well, we've got those kind of bitey fish again. Oh! Alright, this isn't good. We got a giant... Is that a giant crab? It looks like a giant crab. A machine crab. Okay. I think what we need to do then, as we've got the bitey fish, is bite those chains to start with. That's instantly where my mind is going here. Oh no! He's coming to us. We need to get the little rays first. Because then the rays can swim through. So, let's get the ray. Swim the ray all the way up. Hopefully he can't get us in the meantime if we kind of hide down at the bottom with our flashlight off. Now we switch to my attack these. And we bite through the chains. If we can. Can we bite through the chains? Maybe we can't. 
Maybe we have to go and possess this eel first. There we go. Power this up. I don't know if that's done anything useful. Oh, we need to we need to move. He's coming down now. He's like, I see you. I know your game. Oh, is he going to turn that off? He turns it off. It distracts him. Ah, so if he's being distracted, do we have to attack him while he's doing that? It actually seems like we do need to do that though because there are three rays to possess and now there's only two. They don't respawn, so I think we got that right. So I'm just going to keep doing what we're doing for now, guys. I'm sure there's a point, maybe he gets electrocuted every time he does that and it's just like wearing him down a little bit. Either way, we'll use the ray to go this way again. Possess that guy. There we go. And now he'll come down while he's coming down. I wonder if while he's coming down, I don't think we can attack him or anything. Is that actually harming him? It's making a noise now, which is strange. Okay guys, I know what to do now. So what we have to do, now we've cleared away, I think is basically swim down to one of these sides, right? So I need to swim all the way down here. Avoid these fish best I can. So that I'm ready to possess the eel straight away. Now, we switch over to this stingray. What we're gonna do is we're instantly gonna switch over. Oh. We're instantly going to switch over to the other eel as soon as we've um, as soon as we've powered up this first one. So we power up this first gate. Now we switch over and we hack the other eel, and we quickly power up this one. Now we've powered up both points at once. And hopefully this is actually going to work. See, everything's powered up at once. Yes, he connects it all and he opens up the exit. And I don't know if that's maybe fried him in the process. It seems like it maybe has. Or is he okay? I'm not sure. He seems all right. Okay, so now he's like lurking there. The question is... What do we do next? Well, we've got an electric eel up here now. We've got to use that, surely. So let's use the electric eel. Swim down and see if we can, like, zap him or something. He's certainly connecting with him. Maybe we can... Wait. Yeah, look. We zapped him with the eel. Oh, no, he's falling into the fan. Oh, my God. That's actually kind of sad. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I didn't actually even know what I was doing then, as you could probably tell from my commentary. I was just kind of like connecting at points with the eel. It was like, I don't know, playing Connect 4 or something. <laughs> we connected at four points and he just dies. Hopefully we can sap his energy now though and get to the next section of the game. Look at this, his corpse in the depths. Oh, I kind of feel sorry for him. It's okay, fella. Don't worry. Just gonna take some energy from you. And there we go. Prey vanquished. We get to go back to the main hub again, of course, with the weird fox creatures and see what, I guess, lies in wait behind the next portal. We're on portal four now, four or five. So, we are getting through the game. We're back here. Okay, so which way do we go this time? It seems to be saying to go this way. Everything's blowing this way. 
So I'm going to follow where all the debris is blowing. I think that's what we have to do because last time I got really lost in this giant area. The fish are swimming down this way. So I'm just going to kind of follow them. Yep, here it is. Here's the giant base once more. I think we have to swim into the, like, spire here. It's like the Death Star or something only underwater. Okay, mission complete, guys. In we go. I love how it looks, like, hand-drawn. It looks like it's been all sort of drawn and shaded with, like, pencil and stuff. Got to find our way to the chamber now. Where we transfer the energy, of course. Can't remember where it was. It seems like we enter from a different side of the ship each time, so... I'm just going to follow these orbs of light. Maybe it's just straight through here. Yep, here we go. Weird statues, ahoy. And there is the crab creature. So let's transfer that consciousness over. It's like we're making this device like super powerful, isn't it, each time? And there we go, it's powering up. That's three of five done. I don't know whether to keep going guys and just do one long video for this game because it seems like it's going to be like a two and a half to three hour long game. I don't know if you want a long video or if I should like split it up into two parts. Ooh, look. We're in the reef now. This is stage four. Those little fish again. Happy to see you guys. So we need to bite through these cables, so first of all we need a little snappy fish. There's a snappy fish. Ah, we're well, we gonna need the baby fish to get through first. I think. Unless we can just go this way. Seems like we can actually just go this way. I would hate this. Just being in these claustrophobic little caves and stuff would be like a nightmare for me. Oh, yeah, wow, okay. That was abrupt. I didn't even see where that came from. It seems like we're going to have to be extra careful now. Like really vigilant for anything in the environment that could like attack us. I need to have another look at what that was. Oh yeah, look, you can see it, just see it poking out. We get past it. We can get past it. We very gently go around like that. Wow, okay. I think what we need is one of those um, rays. Maybe I can go all the way around. Yeah, I can. Look, I can control it all the way around the rock. That's actually really cool. Okay. So, we can bend it around the rock, that energy. And now just zip past, yep, zip past like that. Okay, now we need to zip past again. Yes, we did it. We made it that time. Good. Ooh, look at this. We're possessing a, what, this is like a, I don't know, just a, a weird jellyfish-like thing. And it blows them up. Nice. Okay, but we're going to have to go back. We're going to have to go back many times <laughs> to uh, possess all of those different ones. Okay, here's the last one, guys. I should do it. Possess this last one. Now we just need to float him all the way down. Blow up the annoying worm thing that comes out of the ground. We should be home free. Come on, dinner time. A lovely explosive dinner. There we go, boom. 
finally, I think we can swim all the way down and make our way to the next area of the game. This puzzle took me absolutely ages, guys. It was so frustrating. Uh, just for the fact, you, if you mess it up at any point, you have to restart the whole thing over. Definitely the worst part of the game for me so far, that. Um, but we're past it, so let's not dwell on it. Now we can actually bite through the cables with this little guy. Take it down this side and bite through the cables here too. There we go. Nice. Puzzle solved. I was wondering why we actually needed to sort of do that little loop-de-loop -loop there, but it's because we needed the fish. And now we can head on this way to the next area. We've got more cables down there that need to be cut, so we need some more bitey bitey fish. Oh, no, it's one of those things. Run! No, I saw it too late. I just realized what that was. You start to become aware of like the things in the ocean, don't you, that like are out to get you. So we're gonna need to swim really fast to get past this thing. Okay, keep going. I don't know which way to go. Oh. Oh, wait, can we lead it? Past that thing. Will that thing. Will that worm grab the other worm instead of grabbing us, I wonder? Let's see. Let's see. Can we swim down here as well? Oh, we can. Oh yeah, look, he goes that way. And then we can get past this thing. Nice. Puzzle solved. And then we go under here, look, the worm goes over the top and gets grabbed. What do we do? Do we go do we double back? Yeah, we double back, he gets grabbed, and then we go. Okay, that's good. The question is, are there any more monsters? There's one over there. Nice, okay. You can dart through this way. Hmm. So we want to zip past him. There's another one there. Now how many more will there be? Can we go through this? Nice. Yeah, now we can possess the mind of this guy. And with it, we can bite through the ropes. Yum, yum, yum. There we go, that's one. And that's two. Sweet. Okay, puzzle solved. Let's head back to our little scuba guy. This is going to be tricky. Now we're going to have to try and lure this guy down here. Oh, there's loads. Okay. Oh, they're getting eaten. We have to we have to try and keep up with them. And he got eaten as well. Nice, we made it. That's actually kind of cool. They all kind of came out of a little hole, chased us, and all got eaten. And we've done the puzzle. We can go through to the next area. Sweet. Right, where are we now? We're in a big wide area. We've got explosive orbs. Oh. Please don't blow me up. Please don't blow me up. Okay, he decided he wanted to blow us up, guys. <laughs> he was like, no, I'm going to. I'm going to blow you up because it's an easy target. We need to blow that up. So I need to actually possess one of these orbs. Like that. And now we need to blow it up without blowing ourselves up. So let's try this. Boom. All right, that worked. Onward we go. Further into the depths of the ocean. This feels like a boss. Wow, what the heck is that? That's huge. Wait. Can I blow that thing up with one of these? Let's have a look. Come on, big guy. It seemed to work. Yep. Oh, he's coming back. 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 So that only worked for a short while. 
Let's see if we can uh, blow this guy up. Nice. Yeah, I think we have to like blow them up and quickly move past them. Oh, 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 oh! Ah! Okay. Okay, that didn't work. That did not work. That did not work. That did not work. That did not work. Wow, there's so many. We got eaten. All right, that's hard. Okay, so let's try and get past these guys. So I think what we have to do is try and basically avoid both the little explosive guys here and of course those things coming out of a wall. So we'll blow him up, we'll keep moving down, we'll possess the next of the explosive things. I don't know what these things are, they're like little, I don't know, like little... I have no idea what they are, they're like little jellyfish things. The next one should be just here, yeah. So blow him up and keep going down. Yeah, if you stick to one side, it seems like more doable. Um, it's not very doable if you try and like take them all on at once. You want to just stick to one side and then go down that side. As you can see now, we're actually, um, we're actually doing okay. And there we go, we made it all the way down. Nice. Got, that actually took me a long time to do. I won't show you what we had different attempts it took to figure out that we had to stick to just one side as we went down. And it seems now we've reached the depths of this place. And what is that? It's like an alien egg or something. Can I hack in? Huh, I'm not sure. It seems like I've missed the little scuba guy as well. You know how we usually get like um, a little scuba ghost? It seems like we've missed the scuba ghost. Look, we've got a tentacle going up from it as well. What is that egg thing, I wonder? And oh, this is weird. Ooh. Is this thing I can hack? It looks like I can. Yeah, look, I can actually... I can actually hack it and move it around, and it grows these weird, like, mushroom things. I think I need to find, like, two different tendrils so that we can, like, both at once. And then we can open that door, and then that worm thing will come out, though. Why would we want to do that? <laughs> Why would we want the worm thing to come out? Oh, I can light the other one, look, with my light. Just realised. Now he comes out. Ah, yeah, we need to lure him out and then maybe cut him. Wait, he's going to grab that. Oh, we're hurting the monster with the worms. I get it. I thought we maybe had to try and trap the worm itself, but no. I wonder if this is just the first phase of a boss though, you know, like if it's just revealing the boss, then we'll actually have to fight it a different way. Let's go back to the main chamber with where the egg was. There we go, that's one tentacle retracted and it's starting to open a little bit. I'm sad that we seem to have missed the, the sort of scuba diver guy, you know, the ghost of the scuba diver guy. Because we found one on every other level. This is the only one we've missed. And I bet it was back where those worms were in that really hard area. Never mind. So let's go to the other side of this room. Let's retract the other tendril. And hopefully the middle of that thing will be exposed and we can merge with it. Maybe we'll find the scuba guy in this room. Who knows? Right, first of all, we need to get that little stingray if he's swimming about. Let's hack this. Toggle lamp. Ooh, okay. So we'll leave that there for now. I think I already know what we have to do here. We have to get the stingray next. Stingray obviously can move through this. Then we have to hack this. Oh! The scuba. The scuba guy. Well, first of all, 
We need to move this up here. Right, guys. So, we need to hack the Stingray first and get the Stingray to go through to here. Then, we now get the explosive thingy, whatever it is. And we place that in here, like so. Now, we merge back with this and we trap it. Ooh, yeah, look. It's now come out. So now we can merge with the explosive thingy again. Like this. I think we want to blow that up, but I think first... We're going to want to... Yeah, first we're going to go and want to get the scuba thing. So, let's merge with him again. Turn the lamp off. Now we can swim down and collect our prize. Look at that. Hopefully we don't get blown up while we're doing this. Nope. There we go. Nice. Now merge with this. Turn the light off. And hey presto, we're done. There we go. We used the bomb. We blew up the tentacle. And now we can make our way back to the main room and we got the scuba diver guy as well. So we've actually got all the secrets so far in this game, all four secrets. I'm hoping this gives us a different ending if we get the, uh, you know, all of the different secrets. But of course I won't have any basis for comparison because we haven't got uh, any kind of ending in this game yet. So I don't know. The egg is opened. We've got something very... Strange coming out of the middle, it's like a worm with a light on its head. Um, okay. So what do we want to do with this? This is probably going to take me a fair few attempts. Oh. Oh, I see. I think what we want to do is get him to fire out one of those things and possess it. And then blow up the middle part. Yes, look, we possessed it. Now we blow up the middle. Oh, there we go. Nice. We just blew him up. It was very flashy as well. I'm definitely going to have to put an epilepsy warning on this video. Will the same tentacle fire out another one, I wonder? It looks like it is going to. Yep, that was very close. Oh, he fires out two now. Boom. There we go. That's another done. It seems like we can just keep using the same tentacle to blow up uh, the bit in the middle, but it seems like every time we go to it, it fires off more of those things. Here we go. Hopefully we can do this without getting blown up. There we go, that's another one down. Is that, is that him dead? I think it is. Hopefully you're okay, my guy, but i uh, got to claim your soul. I'm sorry. Although all your worm brethren have been trying to kill us this whole episode, so I'm not too sorry, you know? Another one down. We're on to the final level, guys. This has been like... Um, this has been quite epic so far, this game. I've been enjoying it. Some parts are frustrating, but overall it's a pretty cool game. Very short. It's the kind of game you can kind of sit down on an evening and just play in one go, isn't it? I kind of like those games like Limbo and Inside and stuff, as I mentioned earlier. Now, it looks like we're going up this time. Heading up and up and up. Follow the fishies. They're leading us up. We've got little, like, moons floating up as well. It's very strange. I, do, I have a feeling, though, this is a game that doesn't explain too much even when you get to the ending. It's going to be one of those games you have to like theorize over what it all means and very ambiguous. Those kind of games are fun though. I do like those kind of games. So here we are back at the central ship hub thing. I don't know what it's called. The underwater Death Star. Swim inside it one last time. I'm wondering if like 
this final stage is going to take place within the ship itself, you know? And I'm wondering if it's going to be as long as the others or if it's going to be like a shorter, kind of more compact stage. Okay. Up we go. Look at all the cages with the, like, sort of diver helmets in them. Look at that picture as well in the background. That's a picture from the start of the game. We were chained up. I'm going to keep heading up, guys. All the way to the top. Here we go back to the hub room once again. Wasn't too much in that uh, little corridor that I explored. It feels good to be back in this place. But I'm kind of nervous what's going to happen now when we activate the fourth gate. Only one way to find out though, right? Here we go. And why are the foxes everywhere as well? That's what I want to know. It's very strange. Woken the ship now. Because we've only got one more circle to fulfill, haven't we? The one in the middle. So it's kind of like everything's fallen into place now. Yeah, look, we've awoken it. Wait, is this the end, actually? Maybe there isn't a uh, fifth stage. Maybe this is, like, the end of the game. Because the machine's definitely on. Oh, man. This is kind of, uh... This is kind of intense, like, because I... I don't know what's happening now. I don't know what we've done. So I'm a little bit nervous, you know, a little bit kind of on edge. You know, we might have unleashed something pretty bad here. The machine is opening up and the light's flooding out. So something's activated. Hopefully this isn't like a world ending device or something. Oh, there's a heartbeat. What is happening? Ooh! All the divers swimming to the surface. It's like the end of A Little Mermaid or something. <laughs> Only instead of mermaids, we've got divers. It feels like... This is the end of the game, doesn't it? Definitely. Everybody's returning to the surface. Yeah, look, there's that statue from earlier. That was the second stage. There's massive light now. It's kind of eerie. It's like they're all possessed. They're being drawn back to the surface. So, through the woods, through the city. I really hope we get more of an explanation than this, because if, if we don't, I have no idea what's going on. Through the coral reef. Yeah, the egg was where the worm was. It did seem like that might have been the final boss, just because it came out of this giant egg thing. So maybe that was the thing guarding everything. You know, that was a thing holding us prisoner. And we destroyed it, and then freed everybody. But I still don't know what the foxes were all about, the statues of the foxes and stuff. Here's our character. We're also returning to... It seems like the surface. 
I mean, I'm kind of wondering if we're all just lost spirits that were trapped under the ocean and you know our souls have now been freed now all these kind of guardians have been destroyed and they're just being kind of allowed to move to the afterlife maybe but there's a lot of divers there that's for sure and we're kind of leading the charge as we all head upwards that's it guys that was the end of the game I actually expected a fifth level. I'm not gonna lie, it seemed a bit, I don't wanna say it was anticlimactic, but it didn't really have a big bang at the end. It just had like what felt like the end of a normal stage. I feel like it would have been cool if it was like one kind of epic sequence at the very end where you really have like a lot going on and it's very clear, oh, this is the final stage. Because if you look at games like uh, Inside, for example, there's a sequence at the end of that game that I won't spoil if you haven't played it, but it very much makes it clear like this is a big, unique thing that's happening because you've reached the end of the game. But with this game, it kind of just ended. It kind of just stopped suddenly. So I wasn't a huge fan of how that happened. I guess it's one of these games where you need to go back into it and really look at all the little details to try and work out what the story is. And even then, it's kind of like probably a story that is up to the imagination and up to the interpretation of each player. But I really loved the soundtrack, I mean you can hear the music now, the soundtrack was really great, the ambient sound was really good, the art style was amazing in this game, I loved the sort of hand drawn art, but I overall enjoyed that. I liked the look of the game as I said before, and I liked the setting underwater, it's definitely very creepy with all the sea creatures trying to kill us. And yeah, I think it was definitely a fun one to play on the channel for you guys today. But with all that said guys, I think we've come to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed it, let me know with a comment below. Let me know what you think the ending was all about. Hit the like button and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.